in this project we are going to discuss about that like uh, hamming code and uh, how the way the hamming code is working and uh, hamming code how it is uh, data how it is making data encoding and how it is correcting that uh, error and as well as the decoding process we are going to see basically the hamming code it's a error correction codes can be used to detect the error and correct the error uh, it was developed by the rw hamming for error correction code so basically the hamming code it's contained the two things one is data another one is like redundant data so the redundant data will be added as a extra data in the binary information what we are giving as a original information so that redundant data and binary data will be added as a encoded data and it will be transmitted to the transmitter here uh, based on this equation we can able to find the redundant data so here m is the original data message bit like uh, whatever the data bit we are going to give r is a redundant bit 2 to the power of r uh, greater than or equal to m plus r plus 1 if this equation is satisfied that r value we can find it out so for example if i am taking a data as 4 so the m is equal to 4 plus 4 plus r plus 1 and 2 to the power of r so we need to find the r value with the help of this equation i will show you with an example so here the parity bit uh, redundant bit will be added in the encoded data based on this encoded data we will be doing the decoding when we are doing the decoding if noises is if noise or error is occurred we need to find it and we need to correct it so for that purpose we are using the parity bit parity bit basically it's contain the two types one is like a even parity bit another one is like add parity bit so how we can find it in this sense whatever the encoded data we have that encoded data how many ones will be there so based on that once we can find it out the even parity and odd parity if the number if the total number of ones is even that is even parity if the total number of is one number is one uh, total number of one is odd in the sense it's a odd parity so here we mention it like that so for example i will show you with a small example so the original m data the m data we are taking as a 101 1011 for example so we have the equation 2 to the power of r so we m m we are taking as a data so r data m is equal to m is equal to now 4 so the original data 4 bit data we are taking so we should apply into here so 2 to the power of r so the r value we need to substitute some values so we can substitute like 0 1 2 3 4 like that we can verify whether the condition is satisfied or not for example r is equal to 0 if i am giving so 2 to the power of 0 it's like a 1 so 1 it should not satisfy with this condition so next condition 2 to the power of 1 2 to the power of 1 and this is 2 this is also will not satisfy and uh, next condition 2 to, the, 2 to the power of 2 2 to the power of 2 in this sense 4 4 greater than or equal to symbol and m is equal to 4 plus r is equal to 2 plus 1 so this value is also not satisfied so next condition 2 to the power of 3 we need to substitute so for 2 to the power of 3 uh, the total value is 8 and greater than or equal to m is equal to 4 plus r value is 3 plus 1 so now the value is 4 plus 3 plus 1 it's 8 so the condition is satisfied so now our r value is 3 so now based on this r and r and m value we can make the encoding so the encoding process is nothing encoding sender is equal to m plus or very simple for the encoding so m uh, for uh, this this for, for making this operation we need to find the parity value so whatever the value 3 we find it so if it is r value is 3 in the sense uh, we need to find it the parity location based on this r value so how we can find it the uh, r location in the sense uh, r is equal to 3 so the value of 2 to the power of 0 so based on the r value r value we can able to identify the position of the redundant data so this is the redundant data position 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 1 like that so 2 to the power of 0 in the sense uh, the data will be 2 to the power of 0 means uh, 2 to the power of 0 in the sense it's 1 and next data 2 to the power of 1 is nothing but 2 and 2 to the power of 2 is nothing but 4 so already we mentioned the equation uh, s is equal to m plus r so that is 4 plus 3 uh, totally the data sizes is 7 so totally encoding sizes is 7 bit 
so the 7 bit position we need to write it 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so this is the position so from this position we need to substitute like 1 2 4 for the redundant data so we have the data uh, data 4 and uh, data 1 position so from this position we need to substitute the data so d4 data 4 bit will need to come here d3 and d2 and here the parity value of 3 and here uh, data 1 and remaining parity value of 2 and here parity value of 1 so based on this we need to make the encoding data so we know that the data values data values d4 is nothing but 1 d3 is also nothing but uh, d3 is 1011 so 101 and this is nothing but p3 only and here again 1 and p2 is same as like p2 and again p1 is also p1 so based on this this is the encoding data now we need to find the parity bits p1 p2 p3 we need to find so for finding the p1 p2 p3 we have one basic term for that this is a 3 bit data so the 3 bit form combination we need to write it so the value is p3 p2 and p1 sorry this is not p3 p4 position is 4 so we need to mention like a position 4 so p4 p2 p1 we will write it like this so the value is 0 0 0 and 0 0 1 these are all the possibilities so we should write it based on this we can find it out the all the parity values with the help of this method it's very easy some random methods some uh, some random methods in the sense it's not possible to find it very easily so 0 1 2 and next one is 3 and next one is like 4 and next one is 5 and next one is 6 and last value is 7 so for finding the parity 1 we need to know about it wherever the 1 will be there in the p1 these are all the values for finding the p1 so now we need to find it out p1 for finding this p1 uh, we have the values here 1 1 and 1 and 1 so these are all the positions so that is nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 0 will not be considered because there is no error so we need to add a parity so we need to find the parity 1 2 4 values so p1 wherever the 1 will be there we need to find it out so the position is 7th position 5th position and the 1th position that position and 1th position so it's nothing but uh, the data will be 1 3 and 5 and 7 so for finding this p1 we need to take these values under so similar way for finding the p2 we need to take the value 7 6 and 3 2 so these are all the values we need to take it out so 2 3 and 6 and 7 so for the same way finding the p4 we need to find it last four values 4 5 6 7 so the values is nothing but 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 so these are all the values to find the parity uh, i will show you the next step so now we need to find the p1 value so for p1 for uh, for this this is nothing but one is nothing but p1 and uh, this 2 is nothing but p2 the position is p2 and here this is p4 so now we need to find the p1 value so for finding this p1 so whatever the positions we have the p1 and uh, 1 is nothing then 3 is nothing but whatever the value we have that position what value we have that is 1 we should substitute 1 and next to value 5 and 7 so 5 is also 1 and 7 is also 1 so the value is 1 comma 1 so similar way for the next uh, data that is p2 and 2367 so 2 is nothing but uh, sorry 2, 2 is p2 367 we need to count it out 3 is 1 6 is 0 1 
so that is 1 comma 0 comma 1 and similar way 4 5 6 7 4 is a p data so p4 and 5 6 7 that is 1 0 1 1 0 1 so we need to substitute that value 1 comma 0 comma 1 now we need to consider whether it is a add parity or whether it is a even parity so based on that we can identify the p1 so i am considering as a even parity so even parity in the sense the total number of ones should be even so now the data will be triple one triple one in the sense it's odd so we need to make it as a even so if we add a p1 as a one it will be added as a even parity so the p1 is equal to one here one zero one so already it's like two ones only will be there two ones only in the sense it will be uh, even so two ones in the sense even so there is no need to add a p2 as a one we can add as a zero so we don't want to make it as a even so already it's even similar way here also one zero one two ones will be there so the p4 value is also zero so this is the data we need to add it here instead of this p3 is like not p3 p4 So we find it out P4 and P2, P1. So P4, P1 is 1, P2 is 0, P4 is 0. So we should substitute instead of P4, we should substitute the 0. And instead of P2, we should substitute as a 0. And instead of P1, we substitute as a, a 1. So now this is the encoded data. So what we need to transmit, this is the encoded data 1010101. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is the data we are going to transfer. So until this, the encoding is complete. So next thing we need to do the decoding. So we need to do the decoding and we need to find the error. So in case the same data, if it is transferred to the medium, uh, the data will be added as a noise. Sometimes it's added as a noise data. So that if the noise data is added, we need to identify that and we need to remove that. We need to recover that. So for that purpose in uh, having code, single bit error can able to detect and it can able to de detect or it can able to detect and it can able to correct also. For a double bit error, we can't do it as a Hamming code. We can able to detect the error. We can able to identify the error is there or not. We can't identify the location and we can't identify the correction and all in the uh, two bit error in the Hamming code. So Hamming code will be suitable for the single bit for a single bit error correction and error detection. So now we will add a error in the data. So the data, whatever the data we transfer, that is one zero one zero one. So in this data, any one position we can add a noise. Instead of this zero, if you add as a one, it's a noise. It's a error. So, so this error we need to identify. If you are not adding the error, the data will be showing us it's not having the error. So we will be identify that. So here the error is added. So we will need to find it out the error. So for the decoding process also, we need to find the redundant data. So already we know that P1 and P2 and p4 are the redundant so we need to find the p1 p2 p3 p4 so for that p1 whatever the data we got it from the data uh, d4 to the p1 we need to find the p1 so for finding the p1 we know that equation like 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 so how we can get to know in the sense as per this table so this is the table common for the decoding also for finding the parity so we know that original data is 4, redundant data is 3. So this is the data redundant. We need to find the parity value. P1 is equal to uh, 1357. So similar way, we need to get it the another values. That is so we are having the value. So we need to substitute the P1, P3, P2, P4 value. So P1 is 1. So you can substitute like 1 and next value 1 third position that is also 1 and uh, fifth position that is also 1 and uh, seventh position that is also 1 so we are writing this value and next value 2 3 6 7 so 2 is nothing but 0 and uh, again 3 is nothing but 1 and again 6 is nothing but 1 7 is nothing but 1 so similar way here also we need to write it like 4 5 6 7 4 is nothing but 0 and 5 is nothing but 1 and uh, 6 is nothing but 1 7 is nothing but 1 so based on this value whether it is even or odd we need to find it 
If it is a even number, we need to add as a zero. If it is an odd number, we need to add it as a one. So based on that, we need to write it. So this is the even number. So we can write it as a zero. And next value, we need to write it as a. This is the odd number. So we can add as a one. And uh, last value also, it's like a odd value. So it's a one. So now the position P four. P four. P two. P2, P1 values are 1, 1, 0. So in the P4 value is 1, P2 value is 1, P1 is also 0. So based on that, we can get to know 1, 1, 0 means in decimal value is 6. So it means in the 6th position, the error will be there. So we know that the 6th position already we added. So 6th position is the error. So based on this, this condition, so this is a single bit error. So single bit in the sense, if it is a 0, maybe a 1. If it is 1, we can add it as a 0. So then this encoded, uh, the error data 1 will be removed as a 0. And uh, this is the original data. So from this data, D4, D3, D2, D1 will, uh, will be take it as output as a data. So the data is uh, 1, 1, 0, 1. So this is nothing but the m value what we taken so this is the complete theoretical view of the hamming code single bit error detection and correction so this is the uh, this is the design so from the same method i'm writing the script in the very log i'll show you that so this is the encoder code this is the decoder code and this is the main code in this main code we add a error and we made a data encoding and decoding first you need to go to compile and select all the programs and click compile give done Go to simulate, start simulation and work folder, main hamming code will be there, select that and just give ok and right click add to wave all items region and below. So you can give a manual that uh, m value you can give here, we can extend the m value whatever we wanted. So I am just taking as an example as 4 bit 1 0 1 1. So you can give like this, there is no need to add anything. You can run it, you can get the encoded data. So encoded data is 1010101 and uh, this is encoded data with the error and uh, next one decoded data, then the decoded data, the data will be retrieved. So we are taking as a 101, um, here we are uh, M, I am, I type it mistakenly, 1010, is the original data. So 1011, we are giving an input here. So here the output also, data output also 1011. So in case if you want to give other data, you can give a other data like whatever you want, double one double zero. So for that also we can get the output. So this is the double one double zero, and uh, this is the encoded data and encoded with a noise and again decoded, decoded from the decoder the original data will retrieve. So I'll show you the program. In this main program, here we will add an encoded code separately. Decoder code is separate. So here we are adding the noise. So instead of the sixth position, we can add some other position. This is we can change the code according to this. So this is the Hamming code in the Verilog programming single bit error detection and correction. So these are all the services we are providing. These are all the specialized domain for us. So thank you for watching this video. This is the complete Hamming code explanation. Thank you.